To all of you who are beginning courses this year, welcome. And to all of you who are in the middle or towards the end, welcome back. I hope you had a good vacation, a good Yamim Noraim. And of course, now we are Sukkot and Shemini Atzeret. And I just want to share with you this thought. Of all the festivals, Sukkot is the one that, to me, speaks most to our time. What makes the 21st century different from all other periods of human history is the sheer pace of change. We are undergoing economic, political, technological change at such a pace that we simply don't know what the world is going to look like five years from now. And I define ours as the age of insecurity. Sukkot is the festival of insecurity. How do I mean? Because it represents the 40 years during which the Israelites wandered through the wilderness on their way to the promised land, through this difficult and unknown landscape, without homes, houses, defenses, living in Sukkot, in sheds or shacks, as we do to this day, with only leaves as a roof, exposed to the wind, the rain, and the cold. Sukkot is the festival of insecurity, and yet with a brilliant insight. Judaism called it Zman Simchatenu, our season of joy. How can you, in an age of insecurity, experience joy? The answer is through faith. What Sukkot tells us is, look up. And... That is what the Sukkot, Sukkot represents, uh, sitting under the shade of faith, Tzila de Mehemnuta. And Sukkot is our way of saying, in that wonderful and moving line of Psalm 23, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. We can face the future without fear, if we know we are not going to face it alone. Thanks, Amen.